Hi, so basically I'm showing you today how an alternative to the Live Create and Illustrator. Illustrator costs money, this doesn't. Great. Inkscape, draw freely, free program, download it, and basically it performs a good function like Live Trace in Adobe Illustrator. And but the function here is called Trace Bitmap. I found this I found this a few months ago, but I also found this last night as well because I was trying to look further into it. Um, good tutorial by somebody called V Scorpion C. I've subscribed to her channel. Some good helpful videos on that. So just uh, just to you know mention where I found it from. Give credit. Um, as many of you know, I'll open Criter, Critter, and as many many of you know, I do traditional drawings, scan or photograph them in then take them to 2D package and put 3D graphics under it from a 3D program. So here we've got the 3D blender under it and the white areas, you know, I take in the drawing in the white areas are transparent, but, and then I use, usually use the multiply blending mode. This is good. You can get artifacts though. And I spend an awful lot of time rubbing out. Yeah. Artifacts can be good. They can look quite analogy, but you know, I'm going to show you a way to, save time on this okay so basically the inkscape here's the <clears throat> program when you open up just generic just go to new default whatever okay go to import an object yeah so get this drawing of the montreal biosphere the sketch i did earlier on this year when i was there so scale it so hold down control so it's even scale then go to your path up here it says path trace bitmap yeah and then click on that ignore this top bit I mean there's a lot of settings you want want to mess around with um, scans will make the vector scan more you know give it more like you know different gradients of color I'm just going to do two for simplicity here. You can do colors or gray. I'm just going to do gray for simplicity here and just update to check it. Um, for an example, if we increase the scans, it's going to obviously make a gray color there. But take that down. Make sure remove backgrounds white because we want to, sorry, make sure we put move background here because we want to get rid of the background. Press OK. OK, it's done. Nothing's happened. You move the original away and delete it. So now you've got the nice, clean vector image. Obviously, it's quite cut off here, quite, you know, perhaps it's a bit too sanitized. And as I say, increasing the scans on your path there will make it more gradient. But for the purpose of this quick tutorial, it's done. So now we go to export bitmap, make sure it's a ping. So here, Got it the folder screencast inkscape final um, dome okay and then some options here for now we're going to ignore it export okay and then i'm going to not going to use Criter, but i'm going to use sketchbook pro that's again a free program that's the result of the one i did earlier so we've got the blank canvas add a layer add image try to remember the what we called it was final dome imported it in there on this image okay the resolution is quite small but remember we can change that in Inkscape yeah we can change the resolution here so if you want a really nice high resolution image doing Inkscape so that's imported select the layer below just to check that the whole thing's worked select a color that will show through just to check and start drawing and immediately you can see without use of layer blending modes and importing it as a PNG, we've rasterized the layer. We've taken it into, I mean, the, the ping, we've, we've made it into a PNG. And basically now it's given a really clean, clean thing here. And then obviously we can make our little tradigital works from that. So just to reiterate, live trace alternative, 
trace bitmap, go to inkscape.org.em. I hope this helps. Comments, questions, always welcome. I always like to, you know, answer questions and get involved in discussions, you know, with people with similar ideas. All right. Okay, great. Speak soon. And remember to check out my work, www.jamesabelart.com. My own artwork and lots of free stuff and tutorials there. All right, great. Hope you enjoy this. Speak later. Bye.